about the um about the RFID chipping and biometrics. You know anything about that? So I know the RFID chip is exactly what you was talking about. That's the microchip that yes. people are implanting. So let me say this, people, and let me tell you something. I just had I had this conversation with somebody about the microchip months ago, right? There will be a whole generation that they will be able to get might get chipped up. So let me tell you. The video gaming, people that play video games, the little kids to the grown ass men that are diehard video game players, right? Right? If they told them, if you put this chip in your hand, if you put this microchip in your hand, you could download a thousand games a month for free. Mm -hmm. GameStop would be filled with people lined up to put RFID chips in their hand. Right. All right? right? Si, if you told black people that if they got a chip in their hand, then they would get a free. Two thousand dollars a month. It's forty-five million of us here. At least twenty million of us would go get that RFID chip for an extra two thousand dollars a month. The government paying you two thousand dollars a month just to get the RFID. They would get it. They would get one. They would make it a fashion statement. They would get tattoos around it with the arrow pointing to it. Two mm -hmm. bands. It would be crazy. So they don't have to do much to get people to chip. Like the the conspiracy aspect of it was just. Just um, foresight, right? You you imagine it like, whoa, yo, imagine if da 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 da. They don't have to put a card. The card is in your hand. The chip is in your hand. This, this. Look, look, people. Look. It's my American Express card. This card has a chip on it. This, this the chip. Mm -hmm. You don't need it here. All of them got chips now. That's my point. That's the chip. That's the that's the, that's an RFID chip, by the way. People, that is. It's not the size of a grain of rice like the one they put in your hand, the implant, but that's an RFID chip, the one you have in your pocket. So just know that. The one you have in your phone is also an RFID chip. All right? So, like, at the end of the day, all these things are the same, pretty much, and, and, and essentially. So you thinking about these conspiracy things going on, and what's going to happen when this comes? What's gonna, and it's actually going on right around you right now. You already have the chip. Everybody has a chip. Everybody. Even from the people that have an EBT card to the people that have a debit card or credit card. Everybody has a chip. You got the chip already, folks. It's over. You got it. So you talked about the vaccine already. And you also spoke about you don't believe in the government that will maybe put chips on you. But what do you know about the new vaccine for the pandemic disease and its biotech? All right. So, again, I, t I talked about it earlier, the way the vaccine actually works, right? Mm -hmm. So, quote me loosely, people, because I know that if you say one thing wrong on this channel... Yeah, they're going to scrutinize everything. That, that was, yeah, you say A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, A, yeah. What? This whole... Everything goes out the window. So, off top, this is the way I would, I would say it in a nutshell. From my understanding, this copies your RNA receptor or helps copies something with your RNA. I, I don't have it. I don't have the exact words, but from my understanding, this does not work the way this, the prototypical va vaccine works. Like it's not like they put a, a, a small cell of whatever the the, vac the virus is or the disease is, and your body identifies it and then kills it so now your body knows what to look for when it, it's not like that so this is totally different so i would advise y'all to do your own research as far as like the actual specifics but from my understanding this has something to do with the rna receptors and stuff like that and your body it tricks your body into producing antibody like it's, it's like a crazy thing but i'm not a scientist i'm not gonna sit here and act like i'm a scientist I'm not doing that. What well, I can say is... Why wouldn't the government want, would like to trip, um, chip us? Why wouldn't, wouldn't it be easier for them to control them? They don't have to chip you. They already chipped you, Sai. You got a chip on your card. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. You looking for something that's coming that's already there. You understand what I'm saying? That's the trick. The trick is to keep you so inundated with what could happen as opposed to what's actually happening. We looking for something that's happening that's already happening. Mm -hmm. yeah, we say, yo, they're going to, they gonna, I'm telling you, they're trying to kill us. They are trying to kill you. You know how trying to kill you? You got a million chicken spots in your neighborhood. You got a thousand Chinese restaurants in your neighborhood. You got mm -hmm. a bunch of liquor stores in your neighborhood. The drugs hit your neighborhood first. The guns hit your neighborhood first. The police hit your neighborhood. They, like everything is designed so that you will die. 
So you don't need to figure nothing out. You got to wait for white people to move in your neighborhood for them to fix the roads and put bumps in it so people don't speed and extra cameras and lights and stuff like that. You got to wait for that. You are the target. You've been the target. You're the target. They, they don't have to do certain things you're looking for to happen. Certain things you're, you're expecting to happen has already happened, already been implemented, is already going on. You're looking for them to put a chip in your hand, you got one. When you go to the ATM tomorrow, look down at your chip. That's it. Go in your pocket right now and look at the chip. Go in the pocket. They, you know, the mark of the beast, the chip in the hand. The chip in the hand is the card. The chip in your head is the phone, because the phone got a chip in it too. Location services, my brothers. All these things. You could be traced. You could be tracked. Everything is tracked. Everything is traced. And what they're doing is just tying the strings and loose ends together right now. I was talking to one of my OGs, and he said some crazy. He said... COVID stands for counteroperative verified identification. I said, what? It's possible. Because then I thought about it. I said, you right. They, they identifying us. The military, here, you, they, they just like they got all the, how you think they'd be like, how you think in the Middle East they would run down and say, we know Ahmad Assad was in this building and they were playing in terror. They watch everything. They're not stupid. They're watching everything. So what right now what they're doing is just monitoring. They taking pictures. They doing all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of helicopters. I don't y'all not lit. Are y'all paying attention to what's going on? All these helicopters, different kind of planes, sounds, and it's not normal. Like, cause the military is here. And what they're doing is they're identifying people. If you again, if you got locked up in the last five to seven years, chances are they took a picture of your eyes and not your damn fingerprints. They took a picture of your yeah, eyes. Talk about that again, because I know earlier today you was talking about they don't take your fingerprints no more. What the hell is that about, bro? Yeah, listen, I, look, if people out there, y'all can co-sign it. Now. I know at least in New York City, in the last five to seven years, a lot. if you were locked up, they took a picture of your eyes. You've been walking around with a mask, right? And a hat. So now what's exposed is your eyes. All this was identified to, to identify you, people. It's, it's identification. Everything. Everything's being monitored right now. Right now, we being monitored. This is, like, you, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't, it's not even a, it's, it, it's not, what happened? You said we are being monitored. Yeah. That's a cable box right there. Yeah. It's not even, it's you not even. You get it? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. It's not even, it, it's not even a question anymore at this point. You look outside, there's a whole bunch of cameras, speed cameras, cameras everywhere. Big Brother's here. You understand what I'm saying? And you just got to adapt. All living things must adapt or die. So that's pretty much that's pretty much that as far as that's concerned. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, people, we got we to gotta just get smarter, man. We looking for all these computers. Like, sometimes Dr. Khaled, I always like to quote him, you know, in No More Negro Stuff, which is my favorite. Or that's, that's what really drew me in as a youngin. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that speech. But... He talked about people that are so smart that they stupid. Like you just so smart. Like you just you just know everything that you that you just stupid. And you're looking for the like I said, you're looking for these conspiracies and these things to happen in the future that are already happening. The mark of the beast is like this. Here's the one on your head, chip on your head. Here's one. And then your card, chip in your hand. There's your two chips. There's your mark of the beast. The dollar's about to go, people. The dollar. The dollar is going in the next three to five years. I say five years. There will be no cash, or there will be one world cash system, one or the other. There will be one or the other. And this is not a conspiracy. If you pay attention to trends, all right. So in mark and in, in, in um in when you when you're dealing with like stocks, right, and stuff like that. There's there's two terms I want y'all to look up: trends and futures, right. You gotta look at these things. You gotta look at what's going on right now. They tell they got everybody investing in to the stock market and everything. There's nothing to back that. Like there's nothing the 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 economy works like this. Peter pays Paul, Paul pays John, John pays Peter, and it goes circulates like that's how it goes. Then the dollar circulates. Peter lives in John building, John buys fish from Peter, Peter buys bread from Mike and Mike lives in jo and, it's bread, and they all buy from each other and all, that's how it works and if there's no money circulating how is the economy booming right now enough for the stock market to be jumping and why are people investing in it you know why? because we're in the latter stages of the money grab alright 
This is about a money grab. It's all about money. Trying to pull as much money as out. You know, a lot of people got money off the unemployment, off the PPP loans. All this whole thing has been a money grab because, again, the economy is about to change. The global economy is about to change. All right? The global economy has already changed, and they keep our people so stupid and dumb and thinking about dumb stuff and so inundated with dumb stuff that we don't know what's going on around us, which is more important than thinking about a chip coming in the future or worrying about coronavirus, all right? Do you know that there have been no laws, all right, uh, a lot of people went out, and I got to touch on this side. A lot of people are, went out and voted for Biden and Harris and all this stuff. There's been nothing that has came back to benefit us. Nothing. There's nothing. They done, they done passed homosexual legislation. They passed for foreigners. They passed for this and that. And there's been nothing for y'all Negroes that ran out and voted for Biden. Right. In negotiations, you don't say... You don't, in the, when you're negotiating, you're trying to come up with a mutually beneficial thing, right? All right, so look, you want this from me, and I want this. So if you give me this, we'll give you this. If you want this from us, you want our vote, Biden. We want X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. Everybody gets what they want except for us. You know when Biden went on, Biden went on the breakfast clubs, Charlemagne the God asked him, so Biden... Are people a little skeptical about you? Tell us why should they vote for you? You know this, this guy said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. It was the same thing Hillary Clinton said with the hot sauce. It was the same thing. My point is that we got to get to a point where we smart, we smarten up, we paying attention to what's going on. We're not looking for a savior. We're not looking for, that's what, that's what that was. We were looking for a savior from Trump. That's what, we, that's what everybody was looking for, sir. Everybody was looking for a savior from Trump. Everybody was looking for the savior. Save yourselves, people. Save yourselves. You know why reparations has never been really taken? All right, so you know we're about to go now, sir. You know, <laughs> you always leave me here. They, listen, they knew, they know, first of all, let me say this. Our concept of history is skewed, sir. We live in a capitalistic country, all right? One of the things me and, and Rob Bourne argued about on 125th, and he got me at the time because I couldn't think of the person's name. And he said somebody's name, which was the wrong name, and just turned the whole conversation. That's one of the skills I learned, you know, battling with the brothers. But William April Ellison was the biggest slave trader, one of the biggest slave traders in the history of South Carolina. All right? He was a black man. All right? You got it. You got it. I could give you a thousand examples of slave owners that were black in this country and when you say slave in a capitalistic country in a capitalistic society you a lot of time you're just talking about wages all right in this country again i always make this point if you make 14.99 right now you have made a slave wage 15 and up is the minimum wage most of the 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 abolitionists were fighting for fair and equal treatment for the slaves fair that being payment how do how were the slaves able to pay for their freedom sir i'm not taking the dna test people i'm gonna tell you why because if you go to different testing facilities you're gonna get different results that's one if you go to three different testing facilities to get tested, you go to 23andMe, you go to MyDNA.com, whatever, you're going to get three different results. That's A. B, the reason why we black people here in America, the so-called black men, traces, we have faint genetic markers that trace back to Africa when we go take those DNA tests is because in the 1800s, they sent thousands of black people to Africa. We found this, we founded several countries there. Hold up. We Hold founded up. Liberia. You said they took yes. black people from America. Yes. And sent them to Africa. The American colony. Now, it wasn't like a forced thing. It wasn't like, y'all got to get the. It wasn't like that. A lot of people volunteered to go. 
right? But what they did was you get that from Dame Calloway. No, sorry. I was Dame sorry, Calloway sorry, sorry, sorry. Think about reverse. this. Think about this. Before Dane Calloway got popping, me and Rob Bourne was on one twenty fifth. That was before that. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you go on my Facebook, Dane Calloway is three, five, four years. Like he just that's that's recent. You go on my Facebook. I've been talking about this. I've been sharing stuff. I've been doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I might. I don't make videos. That's the only reason I'm not more known. Like I don't right, do videos. Right. I'm not in the Facebook groups arguing all day. I'm got time for it. I got kids. I take care. I got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? But before Dan and I respect Dan Calloway. By the way, he puts great work together. I think he really puts his heart into his research. I don't knock him. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the video things is not for me. One thing I can say is I tell people to trace themselves back.